So now we will start to uh, actually shade um, our vehicle. So let me first uh, create a new folder here. Uh, let's call it rendering. Rendering. And let's pull all of those layers into this folder. And then we create a new layer within this layer. Create, uh, call that, for instance, side light. And put those two layers inside there. Then, do we need another? Ah, okay, for the real light, we need another folder like rear light and you don't really have to be that precise and that you know um, how can I say yeah but just for the sake of the tutorial and that you will probably use or open the file and that you don't uh, get lost <laughs> I will name it and yeah Oh, accumulator, real light, and side light. All right. And then we can create another one and call it, for instance, uh, exterior. And pull that down. And pull this into the exterior folder. And Okay, so now comes the fun part. We will now create a new layer within the exterior folder and um, hit control on the image. So now we have the selection and when we draw, let's pick the airbrush. Let's make it bigger. Okay, these set. And take black and if we draw now you you can actually see that we only stay in the selection only in the area so that's pretty cool let's undo that or let's oh man that's not good I've actually drawn into the shape area and we don't want to do that we want to leave it as a background color only let's undo that Okay, and so now let's 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 uh, unlock. Uh, let's lock. Actually, this is quite handy. This uh, this function right here, because now you're not able anymore to draw. You know, could not use the brush tool because the layer is locked. So that's pretty useful, really, because sometimes you draw, you know, and uh, you don't notice, but you actually draw for an hour on on a layer that you don't want. And you know, at the end of the day, you really get mad. So, yeah, a pretty pretty good function right here. Okay, so uh, new layer, and let me actually control and click so that we have the selection. Okay, so uh, let's <coughs> let's <coughs> sorry, let's actually look at the lighting again. So the light will come from top right. Okay, so this area will be dark. So we can uh, let it uh, let it open this layer. Just just for a guide, maybe maybe a little bit. Turn that a little bit down the opacity so that it don't disturb that much. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we start to actually shade. So pick a big big airbrush that's like that okay and now just you know start shading it really let's say like that don't go too dark because we will actually uh, later on we will create uh, we will duplicate the layer and change the mode and um, actually create really nice shades and reflections and specular pass. Okay, so 
This will be in shadow, so it will be darker. And this will be in shadow. So first, really, just very, very um, general shading. So this will be in shadow as well. And this will be maybe like that. Okay, create a new layer, take white. And we can actually, yeah, leave it white. And the other one we can do black so that we can switch. Uh, yeah, so the other one we will make actually white. Make the brush a little bit smaller. Uh, and by the way, if you hit R, you can uh, rotate the canvas. So this is really very handy. Uh, you first have to go to Edit, Preferences, go to General, uh, and then go to Performance and enable OpenGL Drawing. Hit OK so that you can enable the function. So this is really, really, really very handy, this function. Okay, so brush again. And, you know, oops. So this is too bright. Lower the opacity. And, you know, maybe this is a little bit brighter. And switch. This is maybe a little bit darker. And what else do we have? This is maybe also brighter because it reflects and the light hits on the area and as you can see I really put I I don't really put that much pressure on the brush because as I said we will uh, we can always increase the highlights and the shadow area so just uh, don't blow it up and um, brush maybe pull pull here a little highlight area because it's getting it, it's getting roundish <coughs> excuse me and you know like 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 why did I do you know make make this brighter because it's you know some sort of gradient and uh, this comes with practice and actually observing um, how objects are shaded. So yeah, I think the best uh, practice for rendering is to really observe your environment, you know, really everything. Like your lamp on your desk or uh, yeah, like, 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 like how is the light falling on your pencil or or whatever. So, yeah, maybe doing a little bit right, right here. And so the tablet that I'm using, you know, actually, uh, it's, a, it's a Wacom. So it's really very, very nice experience because you have pressure sensitivity. So the harder you press, the more color you put in there. It's all about making it settle and not too much. And you know, this is why those sections are really, really coming in handy. So you can, you know, I, I, I can create, you know, a little bit of, that was not good, delete. Uh, you can really create those, 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 those uh, nice, like, nice um, highlights and, 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 and edges actually and you don't want to uh, draw it all around you know because it's it's if you, if, if you draw a complete line around this edge uh, it doesn't really look that interesting you always want to put a focus on a specific area this 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 makes the shape much more interesting and at the end of the day much more um, readable, I guess. Okay. 
And I guess, you know, concerning the tutorial, I think this part may take time. If you are a beginner concerning, you know, shading, shading objects, because it takes a little bit of experience and you have to practice your eye. Uh, but it comes, it comes with practice. This is really nothing else but modeling, really. You know, we're really, uh, literally, we're modeling right now, like, like you know, you're modeling in, in a 3D program like Maya or 3D Max, and this is pretty much the same thing that we're doing right now. You know, in, uh, in industrial design or, you know, in car design, uh, those renderings are actually used to... Uh, to help modelers later on building cars in uh, in a material called clay, it's um, it's a brown, um, you know, it's brown like like how is it? I don't know. It's um, it's a very very uh, interesting material, and 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 you can really create some awesome shapes with it. So renderings are really just a tool. So still shaping. And you know areas that are, maybe this is a little bit too light. Uh, areas that are concave are maybe a little bit brighter and as you can see just with putting down those highlights you can really really define shape and maybe a little bit on top of that let me actually put uh, uh, plot this turn the layer off it's a little bit becomes a real a little bit disturbing and maybe a little bit like here and this uh, these concave areas uh, might be dark let me actually create a new layer uh, the reason why I create a new layer is so that if I do a brush stroke like like so, you know, and I didn't really like it and I have to delete it, if I do it on the older one, on the previous layer, and I delete it, I delete all of the shading that that is okay. So that's why I really create new layers. Oops. Shouldn't do that. Uh, that's why I create new layers each time and uh, we will certainly merge those layers together so this is no no big deal really and this concave area is certainly darker because it is in shadow and so it becomes you know it doesn't go all the way here because uh, the shape becomes flat right here so maybe like that and maybe delete it I take soft airbrush eraser and so yeah really modeling it this is really the fun part and maybe doing that one darker I did that actually light but according to my light source, that this has to be um, darker. It's good to zoom out each time to really check your check the overall shape, not to concentrate just in one area. <clears throat> and let's shape a little bit this one here and. Maybe put more shadow right here and a little bit of create 
curvature. And now what you can do is, you know, we we've, we've pulled down uh, a shadow right here, but we don't want to influence this area actually because this is another part. So we can select an eraser shortcut is E, and uh, take an airbrush and maybe increase the hardness and we can erase what we don't want to have there so this is quite handy and like you know like here we will have drop shadow so uh, create a new layer and make it dark right there and take the razor again and as you can see we can delete it oops that was too much R for 